Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, in this one, we're going to try and get the car to run. I don't know if that's going to work, but, you know, we'll do our best shot. Okay, so we have some updates since the last time we were together. Uh, we're able to get a little bit of work done, so I kind of wanted to go over it with you guys and show you what happened and where we're at at the moment. As you can see, um, the engine looks a little different. Uh, we took the valve covers off, and then we took the intake manifold out, as well as the distributor, so... I think I've pretty much uh, completely destroyed this vehicle, so that's good. Um, the valve covers, um, I wanted to paint, so that's why we took them off. Um, and the intake manifold, I got a new one, so that's why we took that off. And I'm not going to lie, it's a little shiny. It uh, should be fun, I hope. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the valve covers first. So you may remember those valve covers that used to be on that were pretty gross and grimy and uh, just really dirty and didn't look good. I thought it would be a good idea to kind of clean them up, to paint them. Uh, so we got them out of the car and uh, Dad was really helpful in uh, kind of cleaning them off. We used some gasoline uh, and then brake cleaner to kind of get the grime and the dirt off and then he uh, he whirly wooed them for me so they'd be uh, ready to accept paint. I then used some uh, high temp, very important, high temp primer and then some blue and I'd like you to see the results because I think they're going to look really good. Here as you can see they're quite blue and uh, they're uh, looking pretty much brand new at this point so I put a clear coat on top of them so they should be good to go. They've had um, about 12, eh, 16 hours to cure, so they should be should be ready to, to be reassembled. And I thankfully uh, have the gaskets for them, so that'll, that'll work out gangbusters, I think. Now, before we start reassembling everything, I kind of want to take a moment to look in this uh, valley, if you will. Um, because it's it's kind of interesting. It's it's a lot like it is on TV, which is kind of neat to see. Um, and let's take a look. So I plugged up all the holes, so nothing got in there. Um, and there's a little bit of dirt and grime, but overall, it looks pretty clean. Um, and then you have the. Uh, these things none of them move at all so I think that's what you want I think you want them to be pretty not like this, yeah I think you want them so they don't move um, and then they got these these things here they're all straight so that's good um, these two are sticking up a little bit these things right there I don't know if that's supposed to be the way it is but it is so yeah um, so what I'm gonna do is try and clean this up uh, and get some of this grime out of here and get any of the uh, gasket material that was left on the sides uh, off and uh, I think it's gonna be ready to put back together I may go ahead and cut these fuel lines um, they went to the old uh, EFI uh, to get them out of the way because they are, uh, they get in the way a lot. Truth be told, it is a little scary to be inside the engine as deep as I am because I don't really know how to like put it together, but I think a project like this is really good to do because you learn how to kind of, uh, uh, just kind of get in there and overcome those fears because people can do this it can be done so there is nothing to fear but fear itself you know 
and I've just got to kind of keep going as best I can and find connections where they are and put, put things together, re-bolt things on. I took lots of pictures to try and make sure that everything goes back together, although with this particular uh, project, it's not going to have everything at the same place because I'm going to be taking a lot of the electronics off and I think I'm taking a lot of the vacuum components off too. So um, it's going to just have to be figuring that out as we go on. But the important thing is to not be afraid and to just keep trying. Okay, what I'm trying to do now is uh, clean up this uh, place where the gasket goes um, as best I can so the new one will adhere to it properly um, and just kind of keep all the debris out of the little holes here because um, I saw it on other YouTube channels um, and I think those go to uh, some place that shouldn't be getting debris inside them but uh, I don't know a easy way to kind of do this so this is the best way that I've kind of come up with Okay, so I got the intake manifold on, and it's not completely on. Uh, the bolts that I ordered got delayed in customs. No, they uh, got uh, lost in shipping. That's what happened. Um, but that's okay. So I used the old bolts, but we're one shy for some reason. Uh, or did I lose one? I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Here she is. Um, I got the intake manifold here um, and a converter plate here to change it from four to two and then my two barrel carb. But the bolts on the two barrel carb uh, don't bolt to anything. So I'm going to need to figure that out. Uh, and then the bolts on the intake manifold, uh, I need one more. Um, so I'm working on trying to get this all together, but like it's fighting me all the way. Um, additionally, I've got holes here. I don't know why. I've got two here, one here, one over there, and then two back here that, uh, I don't know. And then there's another one here. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. So, I don't know why that is the way it is, but, you know, there it is. Um, so, I'm going to try and figure that out as best I can. Also, I'm noticing that this doesn't quite abut that which I don't know if that's a problem or that's just how that should be designed there is gasket on the other side um, of there so I hope that works I don't I don't know I put RTV that room temperature vulcanization cream around the the China wall uh, I don't know hitting some issues here I'm also growing more concerned by the moment at the height of this thing because uh, I gotta still put an air filter on top of it and it's getting pretty tall I mean the other one was maybe about this height I don't know like if I try and close the lid 
the lid, the hood. Like, I don't, I don't know. Here, you stay inside and you tell me what you see. Maybe it's too dark, I don't know. Well, here it is so far. Uh, the valve covers aren't bolted on yet, but uh, we're working on that. The intake manifold is on, and it's secure. It's snug. Uh, haven't been able to start it up yet, but uh, we're working on it. The, uh, the blue looks really nice. I'm very happy with that. Um, does not match the car, but I like blue, so that works. Um, it's kind of sticks out from the rest of the engine bay, doesn't it? That's that's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, we will uh, see you next time.